What's up everybody, Just Watch Movies. Today we're gonna to be talking about Peter Burke and Mark Wahlberg and their collaborations throughout the years. This first started with Lone Survivor in 2013, a true story, and then they had another film, Deepwater Horizon in 2016, and another true story of Patriot's Day in 2016. And then we have this first one that's not based on a true story of Mile 22 in the year 2018. This is the fourth time they've worked together, so I thought it'd be a perfect time to rank all four of the Peter Berg and Mark Wahlberg collaborations from worst to best. Before we get into this ranking, leave your ranking down below for all four of these films. Now, I've enjoyed most of these movies. I thought a lot of them are technically amazing. Sound is perfect, set design is great, some really great action scenes, some well-filmed tension. And so it was kind of hard to put this list together, but we're gonna start this list off with number four, Mile 22. Mile 22 is easily the worst one of this group. It is the most poorly edited out of the four films. We have Eco Wise in here who was in the Raid movies and they just chopped his scenes up like no other. Really poorly edited scenes with him and it's like a slap in the face to that guy because he's so cool and does all his great stunts and here he didn't get a chance to shine. It's not the only bad thing about that movie. Um, they had some really bad they had some really bad transitions, these weird ticks for these characters. They told you everything you need to know about the characters in the opening credits. I just really did not like this movie. I wanted to love it because of the the three movies after this that I'm gonna be ranking are really great movies. Mile 22 is just like completely different. Peter Berg almost forgot how to direct the movies that he previously directed because those were really great and this is nothing like them. Mile 22 was a major disappointment coming from Peter Berg. Mark Wahlberg plays like the same guy he plays in like these other three movies. Um, so it's nothing different from him. But Peter Berg's directing is a little bit different from the upcoming three movies. Coming at number three would be Patriot's Day. Patriot's Day is an emotional film and it's a great um, tribute to the fallen people on the Boston bombing. It is a touching film, but it lacks a protagonist to really latch onto. I don't feel like Mark Wahlberg is the main character in this movie. The posters sell him as the main character, the trailers sell him as the main character. I really don't view him as the main character, so it's really hard to latch onto someone uh, because it lacks that protagonist. We also have John Goodman and Kevin Bacon in this movie and John Malkovich is in this movie. Mark Wahlberg's in this movie. It's a well edited film, um, but I feel like it just lacks someone to latch onto and really care for. Some of the times the moments are really tense and emotional and sometimes they kind of are drag a little bit, um, but it is a touching tribute um, to the victims of the Boston bombing and and the acting is great as well. It's just hard to latch onto one character. Coming in at number two would be Lone Survivor. Lone Survivor is a really well edited movie. But this movie kind of suffers from what Patriot's Day kind of suffered from as well. Um, it's hard to get into some of the characters and understand them a little. They introduce, they introduce them a little bit in the beginning. They have them joking around with each other and building that relationship, but it's not as strong as other movies. Coming at number one would be the last film, Deep Water Horizon. Deep Water Horizon is a great movie. Um, they do a lot in this movie. Really strong first act in this movie, introducing the characters, building them up, their family. They just feel like average people in this movie that makes it really authentic in a movie that has a terrible situation that these characters are being put into. This movie has really great editing, really great sound effects. And once horrible things start to happen to these group of people, it does not let up. And building up those characters in the first act really allow for the second and third act to shine. And it allows for you to feel for the characters. Not only did they build a relationship between their family, they built a relationship between their coworkers as well. And that felt really strong. And when it became time to really help out each other out in that moral dilemma, they were there and they stepped up, which was a great story to tell. Deepwater Horizon was an emotional film, terrible situation that these people were put into, great first act that allowed to, for a really intense second and third act. Overall, really good achievement from Peter Berg and Mark Wahlberg. So the guys have it all four of the Peter Berg directed films that star Mark Wahlberg, ranked from worst to best. How would you rank these? Leave your thoughts down below. You guys are the best as always. This is Just Watch Movies, 
and you guys stay classy YouTube.